All right, everybody, welcome back, welcome back. We got, we got an interesting day right now. If you are in the world of Amazon, and it is like the beginning of 2025 for you when you were watching this, things are crazy, things are changing right now. So just quick going into this, Amazon has changed the API. That just means basically the way they communicate with third party software. So, and things are different now. The way you list items on Amazon, no matter what listing software you have been using, it has changed recently. A lot of the listing softwares aren't even working at this point and things are changing every day or every few days right now. I'm using GoToLister. GoToLister is working great for me. I've got two boxes down here that I've already done in the last 24 hours, just kind of working on it here, there and everywhere. And we're gonna do a third box here together, show you guys how to work this new API changes, all the changes with GoToLister. Also, if you're not in the GoToLister Facebook group, go check that out. Dominic is over there. He is the like guy in charge of all the software end of GoToLister. Do an amazing job with customer service. People are complaining or posting questions and he is like, what errors are you having? Let's get this figured out. DM me. I want to fix this now. Like 24 seven for the past several weeks. Very impressed. Also, if you are just entirely upset with whatever software you are currently using and you're looking to switch, I am going to have a referral link down in the description below. This will give you a free 30 day trial. That is two more weeks than what you normally get if you just go to the website. So use that link to check it out completely free for 30 days. Like you can't beat that. You might as well try it if nothing else, because it's probably better than whatever you're working with right now. Cause a lot of stuff that's out there right now is broken, but go to Lister. It's working. There are some things that are different. So that's what we're going to be going into today. So anyways, I got a box of media here. We got books, we got DVDs, we got CDs. We're going to be listing these on go to Lister. So did I start my screen recording? I believe I did. No, I did not. We better start that because I'm going to be putting that up on the screen for you guys, hopefully right now. Creating a batch pretty much could be the same process. We're going to go over on the left bar, hit create, and then we're going to do our fulfillment types. We're fulfillment types. We're talking FBA today. Fulfill my merchant, I don't think has really changed. We need a batch name. My batch names are always the date. This 2025, January 26th. So we're going to put that in there. Smart pricing is the rule I use listed by Josh ships from this would be my address. I need to remember to blur this out when I edit it. Who labels it? I want to label my products myself. Now, because of the change, I've considered the 30 cents thing, but I don't trust Amazon to do things right. So we're not going to do that because labeling the products is the big problem. We'll get to that in a minute. Packing type. We are packing individual products in media land here that we live in. Box contents, we're gonna use GoToLister to provide those. Batch version, the only choice we currently have is the new flow. I'm gonna assume that pretty soon that selection is gonna go away because for a while there, you had a choice between old and new. I was always choosing old when I could. So now we're gonna have to start scanning stuff in, but before we do that, we do need to put in our source. These all came from a bulk purchase I made, $200 for everything, but we've already sent in two other boxes. So this is the third box. I put a buy cost of a dollar for these because why not? And I always leave auto replenishments on. You can or cannot, it's not that big of a deal. From there, we're just gonna start scanning everything. My scanner fell asleep because I talked for so long. EOYO ring scanner is what I like to use for this as well as when I'm out scanning in the thrift stores or wherever. And we're just gonna scan all this stuff, make a nice little pile with it. Now, just like the old flow, you're going to have any errors up here in the top right. And I do have quite a few because we're working with DVDs here first, making sure we got the right ones selected. There we go. And we have some that I am gated in, which is probably going to be Disney. Yep, both of these are going to be Disney. So we cannot apply for these. We are going to double check since I'm gated for these two. I'm going to throw them over here in my tote that I keep of Disney stuff that hopefully one day I will get ungated for. But for now, we have not. So we're just gonna go through the whole box, I'm doing all of this. This one is new, so I need to fix that. Hang on. This I get to in a minute. But anyways, you get the idea. All right, we got everything scanned in, except for a couple that I was gated in and I was able to request. We'll just put those in the next box, not a big deal. Now. 
previously, whenever you were scanning your FN SKU labels, these little two by one inch labels, at least that's the size I use, would have printed out and you would have been able to stick them on the book, the CD, the DVD right away. Now you're not getting those labels until after we've sent the batch to Amazon. So Amazon is in the background right now and go to list. So they're communicating and building these listings on Amazon's end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to send the batch to Amazon. If Amazon's got everything built properly, it should just automatically go. But this process usually takes about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send batch. If when you hit send batch, it takes longer than like 15 or 30 minutes, you need to go back and try something again. I would reach out to the Facebook group, Dominic, see what's going on. You've probably got something weird on your end, but since this process can take 15 minutes or up to an hour, if it's taken over 30 minutes, you've got some issues going on. So you got some options right now. You can go do something else. Typically this is where I go make my kids a sandwich or something like that. Or you can start working on the next box, which is a good, a good thing to be doing. But anyways, right now we're going to just cut the video because I got to go to the bathroom and I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. All right, so we got errors on like half a dozen SKUs. We're gonna hit confirm listing, see what happens. It's been like 15, 20 minutes. So try it again, see what happens. All right, it's like two, three minutes later. We've got now one, two issues. So what's going on now? Amazon is creating these listings. For some reason, two of the SKUs, they have not been able to create. So. At this point, we can either remove them from batch or try it again. Since the last time I clicked it, it only took like two minutes. I'm just going to hit confirm again, and we're going to see what happens. So, I don't know. Let's try this. All right, that was like one minute later, and we're back again. We got two SKUs that it cannot confirm for some reason. I had the same problem on the last batch where I had one that would not confirm, even though I tried it a couple times. So, we're going to copy that, paste it over here, and we're going to remove it. This was the same one I had issues with earlier so we're going to hit restore to go back a step yes we want to restore this batch and we're going to delete that one for some reason there's an issue creating that listing my gut tells me that these are the ones that when they get to amazon there have been a problem with the listing anyways let's try the other one there's one more right here now there should be an update within the next couple of days where they're not going to make you copy and paste this where they're going to do it themselves and just remove them. So that should be nice. But anyways, let's send the batch now and hopefully we're all good. All right. So that ended up taking like another 30 minutes, but anyways, I've also got my next batch ready to go. What we're going to do now, we finally got to the screen where everything's there so we can add all these to box one. That's what I'm going to do. I don't suggest going and just doing two, 300 books all at once and then having multiple boxes you're gonna put them in because of all those errors we're getting right now. We're just gonna add all those to box one. Now, normally on the screen, I forgot to do my screen record. Hang on a second. Let me back up a step. No. Okay. Start recording. All right, I forgot to have my screen recorded on, but hopefully you guys understand what's going on. So what I did was I clicked add all to box, which was like somewhere over here. And then when it did that, it printed out all these FN SKU labels for me. Now what we gotta do is we gotta take each of these, match them up to the books, put the books into the box, and then we'll be almost done. So that's what I'm going to do next for you guys. Wish me luck. All right, so we got everything labeled in the box now, put some packing paper in it, taped it up, weighed it, it's ready to go. What we're going to do now is we're going to continue to box information. The rest of this probably is just going to look like you've always seen before. Put in our weights and our dimensions, hit submit. Now, if this process seems like it's taking a long time because of all these errors that you're throwing out and stuff, GoToLister is working on it, should be ready in the next day or two, probably about the same time this video comes out, is... They're going to remove those items from the batch for you. And then they're going to send you either a notification on the mobile app or make a sound on this thing so that you know when it's all ready. So they'll just keep trying it. 
remove things that need removed and force it on through. That way you're not having to like go in there and manually remove things. You can just add them to a later batch. So that's what they're working on. But for now, we're dealing with all these errors, but I'll tell you what, this software is at least working where most others is not. If you want to try out a 30 day free trial, there is a link down in the description below. I am very happy with the way this is working because majority of software is not even working right now. But anyways, after Amazon retrieves our placement and shipping options, I'll show you guys the next step, which is slightly different than what it used to be. All right, so now, I'm still screen recording, yes I am. So now we are given some placement and shipping options. We have placement fees, we have estimated shipping cost, and really all you're looking here, in my opinion, is at the total cost and number of shipments. As long as total shipments is one, which is what it should be, the method that we're doing, and then you're just looking for your lowest shipping cost. In my case, this is 1962. 687 of that's placement fees, 1275 of that shipping cost. I really don't care which is which, I'm just more worried about the total. Now, somebody could say you want the lower shipping cost because that's going somewhere closer and your items are getting checked in the sooner, maybe. But then the biggest, I feel like, the biggest issue with getting things choked in quickly is not the shipping, it's usually the facility it's going to and how quickly they're doing things. So. Once I click on this, I can then see it's going to LB1 in New Stanton, Pennsylvania, sending it up towards Mike. So we're going to accept those charges, $19.62. While that's working, I'm switching out my labels from the two by ones to the four by six. And now hopefully after these charges are accepted and it goes through on Amazon's end, we can print our labels. We'll give it just a minute. Tick tock. So, what I always do when I'm working on Amazon stuff, oh, never mind, here it is. Is I usually have other work that I can do right over here. So we'll print all our labels. Ooh, save it. Download it. Print. And I'm gonna blur like all this out because I don't want you guys seeing my address and all that good stuff. Two labels to print. And there we go. Stick those on the box and we're done. Not sure how long this took. I didn't time it. I probably should have. But the majority of the time, you're not on task. You're not on the computer. Majority of the time, computer's over here spinning trying to talk to Amazon. And you can go off and work on some other stuff or start working on your next batch. But this is how you send a batch to Amazon with this new flow that we have, this new API changes. Very happy with GoToLister. Their tech support has been absolutely amazing this last few weeks. If you need help, if you're struggling, go on the Facebook group or send them an email or whatever you need to do. Get a hold of them. They can help you out. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait. 30-day free trial in the description. See you guys next time. Goodbye.